This presentation is on Frank Ambrose Beach. Many have heard of the phrase raging hormones. This term is used to describe a range of behaviors such as the increased sexual activity of a teenage boy, the irritability a woman may experience during her period, or the emotional sensitivity of a woman during pregnancy. The influence of hormones on behavior can also be discussed through answering questions such as, why are men more likely to commit violent crimes than women? Or why do some people experience seasonal depression during the winter? Answers to these and similar questions can be determined through the study of behavioral endocrinology, which examines the interaction between hormones and behavior. Frank Ambrose Beach is an American ethologist considered to be the founder of behavioral endocrinology. In his work, he combined endocrinology, the study of sexual activity, and comparative psychology, which focuses on the study of animals, to better understand how hormones impact behavior. Throughout his career, his work upheld his belief that man's greatest problem today is not to understand and exploit his physical environment, but to understand and govern his own conduct. Frank Beach was born in Emporia, Kansas on April 13, 1911. Beach attended Emporia Teachers College, where his father worked as a professor in the music department. At Emporia, Beach took his first experimental psychology class, taught by James B. Stroud. Beach later named Stroud as the teacher who had the most influence on his academic career. In 1932, Beach graduated with a bachelor's degree in English and hoped to become a high school English teacher. However, given the lack of teaching jobs caused by the Great Depression, Beach accepted a fellowship in clinical psychology at Emporia. Although he wanted to complete animal lab research, there were no animal labs at Emporia. Beach established and ran his own animal lab and completed his master's thesis on the color vision of rats in 1933. He decided to continue his studies at the University of Chicago, where he met influential psychologists such as Harvey Carr, Lewis Thurstone, and Carl Lashley, who greatly influenced his work. During his studies, he ran out of money, forcing him to return to Kansas to teach high school. Although Beach finally realized his initial dream of becoming a teacher, he was now more invested in his psychology graduate school studies. He received a fellowship and returned to the University of Chicago after a year of teaching. He completed his dissertation, The Neural Basis for Innate Behavior, under Harvey Carr in 1936. His research examined how destroying cortical tissue affected the maternal behavior of rats, who are first-time mothers. Upon graduating, Beach completed a one-year appointment in Cambridge, Massachusetts with Lashley, who had accepted a faculty position at Harvard during Beach's leave from the University of Chicago. In Lashley's lab, Beach continued his dissertation research and began to study the mating behaviors of different animals, including hamsters, cats, and pigeons. In 1937, he began working as an assistant curator in the Department of Experimental Biology at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. At the museum, he had the opportunity to collaborate with professionals from other fields, which increased his interest in evolutionary and comparative studies of behavior. He created the Department of Animal Behavior and continued to study the mating behavior of rats. In one study, Beach noticed that after putting lesions in male rats' brains, some of them stopped mating. He thought that his lesions were somehow affecting the endocrine system, which produces and releases hormones. He decided to give the non-mating rats testosterone, which caused some of them to begin mating again. His ability to affect behavior by manipulating the amount of hormones in rats caused Beach to become interested in endocrinology. He audited a course at New York University, but was disappointed that class lectures did not discuss how hormones could affect behavior. His professor gave Beach the opportunity to give a lecture on the subject to the class. In preparing for the lecture, Beach found that there was not a lot of research published on the topic. He wrote the first review of hormone behavior research, which he later expanded into his book, Hormones and Behavior. Published in 1948, Hormones and Behavior marked the foundation of behavioral endocrinology. In 1970, Beach established a journal, also called Hormones and Behavior, which continues to disseminate literature on behavioral endocrinology. In 1946, Beach left his work at the museum to accept a faculty position at Yale University. Although he had spent much of his earlier research working with rats, 
he became interested in the reproductive behavior of dogs. Beach continued this line of research at the University of California, Berkeley, where he began teaching in 1958. At Berkeley, he established the Field Station of Behavioral Research, where he continued his research on dogs. This remains an area of interest throughout the rest of his life. One of his most influential articles on the sociosexual behavior of dogs was called Locks and Beagles. Beach became known for the catchy titles of his articles, which increased readership by creating an air of suspense and curiosity that encouraged people to discover the content of the article. In addition to Locks and Beagles, Beach wrote Angry Mosquitoes and The Snark Was a Boojum, which criticized the implementation of comparative psychology at the time. Throughout his time at Yale and UCLA Berkeley, Beach looked at differences in mating behaviors across species, as well as differences in human sexual behavior across cultures. While he studied both animals and humans, he took care to avoid generalizations across species. He did determine that as species become more advanced, their sexual activity becomes decreasingly dependent on hormones and increasingly dependent on individual experience. For this and other reasons, Beach believed that although studying animal mating behavior was scientifically relevant, the best way to understand human sexuality was to study humans themselves as a separate species. This was discussed in the classic text, Patterns of Bisexual Behavior, which Beach co-wrote with Clellan Ford. Beach's work was monumental to the study of sexual behavior, as it proved that it was a topic that could be researched using both descriptive and quantitative methods. In addition to conducting seminal research on animal mating behavior, Beach dispelled the previously held belief that women are passive in sexual interactions. In 1965, Beach organized an informal meeting of psychologists living on the West Coast who conducted sex research. These meetings became an annual event, and although no formal name was given, they are often referred to as the West Coast Sex Meetings or West Coast Sexologist Meetings. These meetings increased in attendance and evolved into the Conference on Reproductive Behavior. Beach continued to work closely with other sex researchers throughout his career, and in 1977, he became president of the International Society for Sex Research. Beach received numerous awards and titles throughout his life. These included the Warren Medal of the Society of Experimental Psychologists, the Distinguished Scientific Contribution Award of the American Psychological Association, and honorary doctorates from McGill University, Williams College, and Emporia State University. Despite all of the academic honors and prestige he received, Beach noted that the highlight of his academic career was a conference and celebration his former students held in his honor for his 65th birthday. Beach highly valued his work with his graduate students and postdoctoral fellows, and is often described as being a supportive mentor. Later on in his career, he began teaching undergraduates as well. In 1985, he received the Distinguished Teaching in Biopsychology Award from the American Psychological Foundation. Although Beach formally retired in 1978, he remained active in research up until his death in 1988. The week before he died from congestive heart failure, Beach was seen in the hospital reading current literature and giving his co-authors advice in a paper they were presenting at an upcoming conference. In discussing his academic goals years before his death, Beach stated, Of course, I shall never accomplish all the goals just listed, but that is unimportant. What counts is to have aims to be able to work hard toward them, and to experience the satisfaction of at least believing that progress is being made. I do not want to cross the finish line of this race, not ever, but I do hope I will be able to keep running at my own pace until I drop out still moving in full stride. It's been one hell of a good race. Frank Beach's work introduced ethological concepts to American psychologists, provided seminal literature on animal and human sexual behavior, and established the fields of behavioral endocrinology. He remained dedicated to his work up until his death, fulfilling his professional goals of contributing to the advancement of psychological research.